Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video about medical tourism. Today I'm going to be going over a very popular sector of medical tourism, which is dental tourism, and more specifically why U.S. patients are leaving uh, the United States to get uh, dental treatment abroad, and also some trends uh, that I've been seeing over the years. So if you find this subject interesting, please like, share, and subscribe. So over the years, uh, I've done marketing for dental practices, uh, medical tourism facilitators, and other medical tourism organizations around the world. And I'm constantly speaking to, uh, to U.S. patients and dental tourists in general. So the information I'm going to be sharing with you is going to be uh, information that I've gathered over the years while working with dental practices, patients, um, and medical tourism facilitators, as well as some new information that just came out. So when it comes to dental tourism, patients from around the world are traveling abroad to other countries to get dental care. But the places that I see patients travel the most uh, are patients from the U.S., patients from the United Kingdom, and patients from Australia. These citizens are going to less developed countries and getting affordable dental care. I also just did a video on the United Kingdom and the dental tourism market there and why citizens uh, there in the UK are traveling abroad for dental treatment. So if you guys are interested in that subject, I'm going to leave some links below. So when speaking of Americans who utilize medical tourism, it's typically to save on cost. The cost of dental treatment here in America is very expensive. And since the cost of care is so expensive here in the US, these patients are looking for alternatives to save on their dental care costs. And the cost of dental care continues to increase faster than inflation rates and faster than the wage increases. And factors such as flat wage growth and the aging of the US population has caused a lot of Americans to put getting dental treatment on the back burner which ends up putting them in a worse situation, both financially and health-wise. And unfortunately, basic dental care is now financially out of reach for many average Americans. And a recent report came out that over 75 million Americans don't have dental insurance. And the U.S. citizens that do have dental insurance, a lot of them have really high deductibles or their dental insurance doesn't cover a lot of procedures. So because of all these factors, dental tourism has become a preferred alternative for a lot of U.S. citizens. And it's not unusual for U.S. patients to save 50 to 80 percent, and I've even seen 90 percent, when traveling abroad for dental care. And while it's true that a large segment of U.S. citizens are traveling to Latin American countries like Mexico, Costa Rica, Colombia, and others, they are also traveling as far as Turkey and Thailand to get dental care. So if you're a dentist or a medical tourism facilitator and you want to get your brand in front of dental tourists, I'm going to leave some links below to our educational marketing videos, as well as some links to our digital marketing services that you guys can check out, as well as my contact information if you guys have any questions. But thank you guys for watching this short video, and I look forward to speaking to you soon.